Hi. Um, so tonight's check-in. Um, if you watched my video last night, you probably heard me talking about the issue that I had with my right ear. Um, so today, when I woke up, I was still deaf in this right ear. So I went in early in for the, the um, 11.45 session and spoke to them. They phoned the woman who runs or has the most um, experience with this sort of thing. And she advised that I didn't do any sessions today. She does think that it is just a, a build up of pressure and um, possibly a bit of fluid in the in the ear that should hopefully resolve itself. So I was given some exercises to do, which I've been doing them over the course of today and it has helped. I can definitely hear a bit more in the ear so it's not as as muffled um as it as it had been because this morning I just I was kind of a bit panicked about it. I'm quite a panicky person anyway, bit of a <laughs> My husband's actually here with me. He's giving me the eyes like, yeah, you definitely are a panicker, Mags. <laughs> um, so I had myself with um, permanent hearing loss today. I was like, I can't I can't handle now being deaf and top of everything else that's happening to me. Um, so, God, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. So, yeah, definitely a bit better. I'm going tomorrow morning for... My session, um, just the usual time, 9.45. Um, and then my last session tomorrow, if my ear allows it, will be 15.45. And then I'm going to go back home um, for the weekend. And then I'll be back in Edinburgh on Monday for the next four days. So Monday to Thursday of two um, sessions per day. Um, they say the ear... Trauma is quite um, a high, you know, it's quite common with people who do these sessions and there are certain things that they can, that they can um, give you earplugs, which was kind of surprised me because I thought plugging your ears would just increase the pressure even more, causing more pain, um, but apparently not, it doesn't, it helps to... Um, equalise the pressure and obviously doing this holding your nose um, and just kind of blowing gently not fiercely helps to adjust the pressures as well so I think I've not been doing that while I've been in the chamber because I'm worried that my eardrum would burst so I might start doing that a bit more often because if it is a build up of this pressure then that'll hopefully alleviate it and stop me from getting this these daft pains that I've been getting um, and not make me deaf. So yeah, um, God knows what I'll be coming out of the chamber with tomorrow, maybe a, an embolus or something similar. <laughs> right, okay, I'm going now before I get done in. Um, right, be back on tomorrow to ramble some more rubbish um hopefully tomorrow i'll get to do some recordings because that was my plan today um but obviously it didn't go to plan so fingers crossed good night <laughs>